morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's afternoon, but it's completely black. Black. So what do we do when it's dark and dreary in Cornwall? We eat. We comfort eat. I'm comfort eating today. So we're having a controversial one here because this is spicy buffalo pretzel chicken breast chunks versus vegan no chicken buffalo chunks yeah chicken versus vegan so we've got the house chicken so spicy buffalo and it's got a blue cheese sauce which i really really like so there's the nutritional info if you want to pause that and read that so there's nothing red there's no red warnings on the front or anything like that. So it says it's spicy, but I don't believe that. So and here's Plant Pioneers. Comes with uh, with buffalo wing sauce, that one. So, but I can always mix up the sauces. So there's no red stuff there either. I've got three chilies. There's nutritional information. As per usual, I'm going to put these bad boys in. The George Foreman, or I could use the air fryer. Hmm. What one do you think would be quicker? Air fryer. Do you know what? I'm going to use the air fryer. Yes. Seeing as they would normally be deep fried. So these are going to go in the air fryer. The new air fryer. So they're going to go in rows. I'm really sorry, George. But uh, I'm going to stick them in. I'm going to stick them in to air fryer. Back shortly. And we're back in the room. So... These are the plant pioneers. Excuse me, leaning over here. No chicken buffalo wings. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the packet. Excuse the fact that there's eight on there because uh, Harry Foodie Girl is joining in, but she's just had a big sandwich, so she, she only just wants to taste one to try them out. So these are no buffalo chicken wings coming with uh, buffalo sauce. So that's them. They look pretty nice, done in the air fryer, literally 10 minutes in the air fryer, and they were done. So I, I felt sorry for George. So I started these in the George because I didn't want to cross contaminate because uh, Harry Foodie Girl is a pescatarian, so doesn't eat meat. So, and these are chicken. So I started these in the George and then finished them off in the air fryer. But once again, 10 minutes, you know, like, like half the cooking time from the, uh, from the oven. Look at that. These are good. So this one comes with blue cheese sauce, which is one of my favorites in the States. So I love a bit of, uh, chicken wings and, and blue cheese, buffalo chicken wings or chicken tendos and blue cheese sauce. But this sauce looks a little bit watery. So I've got a spoon I'm going to mix it up so I'm going to whack on the the buffalo hot wing sauce on my no chicken that's just the timer going off like ding yeah I don't know why some of the, the sauce is kind of separated so yeah I'm glad I stirred that so I don't think the blue cheese is going to do that Get rid of that. So, I don't know why I've got glasses on top of my head. It's just, it's like, you know, it's, it's an age thing, isn't it? You know, you get to a certain age and you, you, you've got your glasses on top of your head and you think, where are my glasses? And then you end up spending like 10 minutes looking for them. And then uh, you realize they, they were on top of your head all of the time. So, but I'm actually worse than that. I've got to the point where I just leave sets of glasses all over the house, in my car, in bags and stuff like that because I'm constantly losing them. So I figure that, you know, I've got a better chance. I'm just gonna move these so I don't smother in sauce because I want to dip. So a lot of sauce here. So these were from Sainsbury's. I think Plant Pioneers might be Sainsbury's own range. Not too sure on that, but they're, they're the only place that I've seen them. So um, I've had I've had mixed feelings about um, plant pioneers. Some of the, the stuff is amazing. Some of the stuff is um, pretty grim. 
So there's a, there's a massive amount of sauce in there. Massive amount, very de generous with the sauce. This one, this one's kind of separated and gone watery, a bit disappointing. So, okay. So this is Americana. Can't help but lick the spoon. You know, so you got your, your t mm, that's a nice sauce even though that's okay. So you got your, your classic chicken dippers with blue cheese sauce, chicken dippers with, uh, you know, buffalo sauce. So, you know, these are no chicken buffalo wings and these ones are called pretzel chicken breast chunks. So do they have bits of pretzel on the back on the, on the, as a topping? That would make sense, wouldn't it? It is. It's a chili pretzel crumb. Yum, yum. So yeah, it said 15 minutes in the oven. It was, it was 10 minutes in the Georgia in the air fryer. So at least Georgia didn't get left out, you know? I don't want them like getting jealous and like, you know, developing an animosity and stuff like that, you know? I love both of you guys. So, right. Okay, let's get in. So, oh, normally I'd start with the, the vegan. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going in. Right, so, you ready, foodie girl? I am. You am ready. Okay, I'm, I'm being quite generous with the sauce because it is, I put the spoon in my mouth, it was nice. So I'm just whacking it on. Whack on, wax off. Right, it's going in my face. I love vegan chicken replacement. Yeah, I've said it. I'm so happy with that. That's good. They've redeemed themselves because last night they had a bit of a fail on one of the other reviews. Do you want another one of these? I haven't even asked your opinion yet. I'm just... I, I love these, and I'm, I'm just kind of hoping that you love them, too. Um, but, you, I can see you don't. <laughs> okay, right, before I even ask Harry Frudiger what she thinks of these, I love them, but then I'm a carnivore. These are really good. And I would happily eat them as a meat replacement. Unlike the travesty peri peri fillet thing that we ate, or we tried to eat and then we threw it away. Go on then, be scathing. <laughs> I can see already that you weren't a fan. Um, Speak up for the camera. Okay, so to me, they taste like a cheap chicken nugget. Like if you ate m meat and you had a decent chicken nugget and then you bought a cheaper version of, that's what they remind me of. Well, that is kind of what vegan um, chicken replacement tastes like, though. I love corn chicken nuggets. Okay, what's this made of? One sec, then. The brand corn. We didn't check. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but we didn't check what it, what it was made from. Wheat gluten, mushroom, and coconut milk. That was. Wheat gluten, mushroom, and coconut milk. Okay. So. The sauce was nice. Yeah, the sauce is lost, isn't it? Yep. So I, t I did say smother it, smother it. Do you want another one? Smother it no, in the sauce. No, no, thank you. Okay, so <laughs> that one, two thumbs up from me. I don't know whether I can work with Harry Fruity Girl anymore. She's being too controversial. One thumb down from me. One thumb down, not no, two thumbs down. No, a thumb up for the sauce. The sauce is a down. thumb up for the sauce and a thumb down for the chicken. But I think I think this chicken's great. You know, it's I, I, it's got a really good texture. So, yeah, it tastes like a cheap chicken nugget. I like cheap chicken nuggets. I suppose I'm just a cheap date. Fruity Girl is just more refined than me. <laughs> what can I say? Mm. Yeah. I'd eat those all day. I'm really impressed with that. Plant pioneers, you've redeemed yourself. So if you're looking at, um, if you like the, cheap chicken nuggets and you're a vegan or a vegetarian they're good 
no chicken buffalo wings and the sauce is phenomenal. So, right, but anyway, we're here comparing and contrasting something new, the, the house chicken, the spicy buffalo pretzel things. This is real chicken, this is not vegan. This is new. I like all the ingredients. I like chicken, I like nuggets, I like pretzels, I love brew cheese. So let's see how this is. There's a lot of blue cheese, so do you know what? Let's just, let's just literally drown it. Oh my God. Oh, if you ate meat, I'd get you to eat these. Whew, they're good. They're, they're good. So, they both have three chilies for heat, right? This has no heat for a chili head. This has three chilies. This has heat. This is one of the first supermarket things that I've tried that actually has heat. It's really nice. So I'm gonna try one without the, the blue cheese is divine. So I'm gonna have one of them saying, oh God, they smell so good. Hmm. They're actually spicy. Not blow your head off spicy, but good spicy. It's burning my tongue. I can feel it, you know, not in an uncomfortable way, but in a good way, you know? Like if you like spice, you're gonna love these. Oh my days. Do you like blue cheese sauce? Yep, I do. Do you want to try and cut, do you want to dip one of these buffalo petrol things and smother it in the blue cheese sauce? No, I'll try the sauce on its own now. Do you want half of one of these in? No, no honestly, okay. I don't want to eat another one of those, but I will try the sauce. Okay, I mean, I'll do, I'll do your teaspoon of the sauce then. Okay. Come on over then. I'll pass it to you this way. There you go. Try that. Just so at least you can try the sauce. I think the sauce is good. For a packet of sauce. I, I shouldn't have done that. Because I know I love this. And and, <laughs> and I know she's gonna hate it. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just watching her face now as I'm dipping another nugget into this. nice but I think I prefer it warm. Okay. I've never had warm blue cheese sauce before but I suppose if it was poured on something warm it would be wouldn't it? Yeah. That's why I was trying to get into one another one of these because it would have warmed it up a little bit. You could always go carnivore and try a piece of the chicken with it. No thank you. Okay how long have you been a vegetarian for or pescatarian? Uh, 13, 14 years maybe. 13, 14 years. I'll still keep trying. Well, no, I'm not going to keep trying at all. It's silly, isn't it? But, you know, everyone's entitled to eat how they want to eat, what they want to eat. And nobody should dictate to people about diets, unless it's for severe health reasons, of course. Mm. <laughs> So, for me, being a chicken tenders addict and not finding much in this country, when I come back from the States, I get a bit fed up because I love going into the big supermarkets, you know. You can even get like, you can always you can even get like chicken tenders in Target, you know, Walmart, <laughs> it's like they're everywhere. So, if I ever went past, I'd come back with a pound bag of tenders and a, a blue cheese little um, pot of sauce and a buffalo wing pot of sauce. And I would be happy eating that just for lunch, just chicken tenders. So, these are the closest thing I found to 
satisfy me like a, an American chicken tender. The sauce is good. Um, the spice is good. It's making my nose run. I'm so happy. <laughs> because I really miss going to the States. You know, I miss my friends in the States. I miss the, the, the food in the States. And But, you know, but I've learned to be able to go over to the States and not put on any, any weight. Because, yes, I'll eat chicken tenders, but then I'll spend three days at an all-you-can-eat salad bar buffet, you know, and just pile my plate with salad. So, ugh, pardon me, little chicken nugget burp there. So, I've learned to maintain my weight. The first time I went over to the States, I was there for a month. I came back two stone heavier. So, what's that? Is that 28 pounds or 26 pounds? I don't know. A lot heavier. Hmm? 28. 28 pounds. <laughs> so, and then I was like, I, I hadn't weighed myself in the States. I, you know, I just got so excited about all the food. I just, I wanted all of it. You know, and I was just like, oh, get in my belly. It's like, just, um, I wanted all of it. So now I've, I've, I've learned about control. So, you know, it's like, um, I ate five and a half pounds of gherkins, including the the vinegar, a couple of nights ago. That was dumb, but I beat a world record and I beat my, one of my legends, like, you know, one of my heroes, Matt Stoney. I beat his time. And I spent a whole minute just talking in between it. I didn't even realise I was anywhere near beating his time, but um, yeah, <laughs> so I could I could have beaten it by a lot. I'm not in a rush to try that again. So, but I will if someone beats me. That's not a challenge. Don't, please, don't do it. It's bad. It's really bad. I was, I was really not feeling very well afterwards. So, waffling again. That's going to be my, that's going to be like one of my taglines. I'm waffling again. So, the plant pioneers were good for people that choose not to eat meat. I enjoyed them. The sauce was good. The texture was good. So, yeah, it, it tastes like a cheap chicken nugget, but it's not chicken. It's vegan. So I don't mind the fact that it tastes like a cheap chicken nugget when it's not chicken. You know, if it was chicken and tasted like a cheap chicken nugget, I might have something to say, but it's not. It's vegan. So I think it did a good job. It was a nice crunchy texture and stuff like that. That yeah, I keep saying the sauce was great. And the fact that they're made out of mushrooms, and weed gluten and coconut milk. <laughs> That's like a new one on me. That that was good. But these bad boys, please, carnivore, carnivores of the world, unite, especially all you Americana fans out there, please go to Sainsbury's and buy these so that they carry on making them. Because I will be very sad if I go to Sainsbury's and they're discontinued because nobody bought them. These are epic. Like, these are perfect for, like, you know, one of those Netflix moments where you're just sitting and glut watching and you want a snack food to eat. You get so much sauce, more than you'd need. I could literally pour the sauce all over these and, uh, and, and literally fill my face with these. So, they're both winners. They're both winners. Um, oh, it's difficult, man. It's like, in this instance, the pro this product beat this product. But I don't want to say, I don't really want to be, like, say that the, the chicken beat the, the, the mushroom. Well, it did. Okay. Look, you know, I'm trying here. I'm trying to explore veganism, vegetarianism, and, like, show you guys what's what. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan... Try these, they're really good. If, you, if you're not and you eat meat, these are epic. Epic. So, um, I love these. 10 minutes in the air fryer. And they come out looking like that. Oh, there was a little bit of George first because I didn't want to cross-contaminate. So that's what the striations are. But then in the air fryer, listen to the crunch. Mmm. Look at that quality chicken. That's really nice. And it is 
a chicken breast piece. It's not reformed, nothing like that. You can tell I'm impressed by these because I'm still eating them. Oh, they're the Don. They're, they're the best thing that I've had chicken nugget wise since America. Quite simple. So, say goodbye, the house chicken. <laughs> You're a winner. Clucky now. They're phenomenal. Right. One last look. Look at these. There's not going to be many left. There was a lot in the pack. <laughs> I don't think they're going to last. But this is my dinner. So I'm happy with that. So, please drop a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please share with other foodies. Like, you know... Your dad, your mum, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your friends, people you don't like. You know, it's like I'm doing lots of different stuff. This isn't a standard food channel. Like I don't just do reviews. I do stupid shit. You know, so not all the time. But I do like so drop comments. Like I, I love the comments. I answer every single one. And, uh, and I listen as well. So if someone sends me somewhere, I go there. If someone challenges me, I accept the challenge. There, I haven't not accepted one so far. But there you go. That's it. That's, that's the end of today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.